Persian POTUS here, reviewing the Canon Vixia HF M30. First, let's check out the exterior. I like how the M30 fits into the palm of my hand. The LCD screen easily pops out and provides a nice viewing area for shooting. If you look on the inside, you'll notice there are hardly any buttons. This is because the LCD has a touch screen that allows you to toggle various options. In fact, the only buttons that you may press on the camera itself are the ones found on the top. If you turn the camera to its other side, you will see an easy to adjust hand strap. All you need to do is open it up and place the gray velcro fabric in a place that's comfortable. Underneath the strap is where the various ports for your cables are hidden. One of the best features of the M30's exterior is the built-in lens cap. This is great because I really dislike the ones that dangle from the side. Alright, now I'll show you this camcorder in action. One thing that I've been having fun with lately is the touch track and manual focus. The current image I'm zoomed in on is really out of focus. To correct it, I could use the touch track but I think in this case, I'll take advantage of manual focus. All I have to do is go into the menu, select focus, touch any location of the plant, and my job's done. The 15x zoom on the M30 might sound small, but can actually get some pretty decent telephoto shots. The zoom toggle itself isn't too hard to press, and doesn't really snap when you let go of it. I also do not notice any audio of the lens retracting either. Big plus in my opinion. Another thing you'll notice while zooming in is how your video will remain very steady. This is thanks to the dynamic image stabilization feature. To really get an idea of how much this helps, I'll turn the IS off. As you can see, the video is now very jittery and nowhere near as steady as it was with the IS on. So experiment sometimes with this feature, especially when you're shooting without a tripod. Those of you out there that like to get artsy with their shooting will appreciate all the manual adjustments you can do with the camcorder. Here I'm going to see how this image would look with a different aperture. I love how easy it is to drag the different values back and forth on the screen, or if I don't want to touch the screen, I can just use the arrows on my remote to do the same thing. Besides this camcorder's filming capabilities, it also handles taking photos rather well. To show you the kind of quality you can expect, I'll display two images. One taken with my Canon PowerShot, and the other with the M30. This one is from the PowerShot, and has some great vibrance to it. It also shows some nice detail, such as the veins on the bougainvilleas. Now, to compare it with the picture that the M30 took. In the M30's photo, we still see some great vibrance. However, the detail is not as crisp and pristine. Despite the fact that picture taking is not the purpose of the M30, it still performs this task beautifully. All in all, the M30 is one of Canon's best consumer camcorders to date. The footage clarity is stunning, and you'll find yourself wanting to film with this on a daily basis. I gladly give the M30 5 out of 5 stars. <laughs>